Hey guys, it's 3Godzilla3, the master of Sonic, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Sonic Origins early. Well, kind of. It's not It's not actually Sonic Origins at all. As a matter of fact, these are the decompilations of Sonic 1 and 2, uh, as well as Sonic 3 Air, which is a, a port basically on Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and uh, Sonic CD, which is uh, the Steam version of Sonic CD, obviously. But uh, basically... It, the only thing you're going to be paying for this is really uh, the cost of Sonic CD on Steam, which I think is like 10 bucks or something. I could be super wrong on that. I can't exactly remember the the, the last time I bought that game. So, um, But it's actually relatively simple to do because, uh, if I'm being honest, guys, these are the definitive ways to play these games, in my honest opinion. I think you can play this on pretty much any computer, and by this point... Uh, I think almost everybody in the world has a computer or something. Uh, well, at least in America or something, right? Like, if you're watching this right now, chances are you have a laptop or some kind of PC. Um, and you can definitely play this like that. Um, and if you have a PS4 controller, you can connect it to your computer, in which case you can play with a controller if you wanted to. Um, or if, you know, if you're the person that just wants to play on the keyboard, you can do that too. But uh, without further ado, let me explain how to do this. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website. It's called Team Forever Online, okay? I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys to find this. And uh, from here, you can download Sonic 1 Forever and Sonic 2 Absolute. These are basically a way in which you can play the Android versions of Sonic 1 and 2 on PC. And it's the greatest thing in the world. It's so good. Um, I would say it's better than the Sonic Origins they were getting, just a little bit. And I'll explain why later, but for now... Uh, if you want to get any of these, you just click, uh, click on the first one here, and you just click on this, Download Easy Setup. So once it downloads, uh, it'll be a zip file, so if you don't have Windmar, just download that, super easy, or 7-zip, whichever. And then when you click Open, it'll look like this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extract uh, the files in here, and it'll open up this folder. Where is it? Which one did I do? This one, right here. <laughs> yeah, it's going to open up this folder, it'll have these files in it. And basically all you want to do is you're going to want to download the the APK file of Sonic 1. Um, this is where it gets tricky. You can do this through uh, legal means by <laughs> uh, downloading this app on your Android phone. Actually, I'll leave a link in the description on the video on how to extract the APK file from your Android phone. And it's a very good tutorial. It's super easy to do. Um, and then once you get that APK file, you just drag it in here. Uh, in the folder and then you click on s uh, s1f setup and then from there it'll create a shortcut through which you can then play uh sonic one forever uh once it's done let me try to find the folder i have it in so it'll look like this uh, it'll have all this in here uh once you click on the exe file it'll open up so let's still look like that real quick and here we go so this is literally just the android version of sonic one on PC and you can play it and it's god it's so good it's really awesome guys like, look at this so you have a list of options here you can do the save select and then from here you can choose to play as either Sonic uh, Tails Knuckles uh, you can play Sonic and Tails in this version which is so cool that's like awesome um, and then uh, what else can you do here you can uh, if you go to game modes uh, there's a list of game modes you can try out. Time Attack, Arcade Mode. Um, they have some other stuff coming out soon, which, you know, should be awesome, but we don't have that at the moment. If you go to Options here, this is where it gets awesome. So, the Ground Speed Cap from Sonic 1, you can turn that on or off, which is great. Air Speed Cap, uh, Roll Jump, same thing. Uh, the Spike Bug Glitch in Sonic 1, if you get hit on spikes and you fall back into spikes with zero rings, there's no invincibility frames, you just die. So you can turn that on or off. Um, I haven't tried this yet. You know, apparently you can manually rotate the special stage. Uh, I don't know if that would make it easier or harder, but uh, not sure. So you can try that if you want. Uh, infinite lives on or off, you can choose that. Uh, time limit. Uh, in the original games, there was 10 minutes in each level for you to complete it. You can turn that on or off. Uh, bubble shield from Sonic. Uh, you can turn on the this elemental shield if you want to. Uh, you can also choose what shield type you would want uh, in terms of the sprites. So you can choose it uh, for Sonic 1 sprite, Sonic 2's, uh, the elemental sprite, you know, whichever. Um, then, yeah, like, all these options are here. Uh, you can you can use this, the peel out from Sonic CD, which is the coolest thing ever. Like, come on, Drop Dash from Mania, everything's here. So, um, in terms of tweaks, there's a whole bunch of things you can try out. The peel out, you can choose if, uh, when Sonic's running at full speed, if you can have the super peel out animation, 
which is the coolest thing in the world. I I love I love to have this on. Uh, extras. Let me see what this says. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. Uh, oh, there's a boss rush. Okay. Some of these I haven't even tried out. I just play the main game. But yeah, these are all part of the the Sonic One Forever experience. So you can also add mods to this, which you can do from Game Banana. I think Game Banana has a bunch of Sonic One Forever mods that you can add on here, and they're relatively easy to, to throw into. Uh, you just gotta throw the mods into that mod folder. Um, and that's it guys, yeah, so th this is how you play Sonic 1. It's super awesome, you just hit exit and that's it. Uh, if you ever want to go back to the game, you just click on this exe file again and that's it. Uh, for Sonic 2, it's the exact same thing, except you choose uh, Sonic 2 Absolute. Uh, oh, uh, right here, yeah. So you click on Sonic 2 Absolute, you download the easy setup, and then once you extract it, you'll have uh, these initial ones, and then when you throw the Sonic 2 APK in there, uh, click on uh, S2A setup and then it'll have this exe file. So when you double click on this exe file to bring up the game. Sega. Sega. Uh, and this is basically the exact same thing as uh, Sonic 1 Forever. It's, it's made by the same people and it's in widescreen. Which is basically what Sonic Origins is trying to tell us. Is that we can now play the classic games in widescreen but uh, here's a way to play them, and here's why it's an, this is way better than Sonic Origins, guys. Uh, in Sonic Origins, the only way you can play in widescreen mode is through the anniversary mode. Um, but the problem is that anniversary mode does not have lives. There, there's no live system. It's just the coins thing, which is just... I don't understand. Wait, if you want us to play the classic games, have it with the classic difficulty, including the fact that they're pretty much archaic in design and that if you run out of lives and continues, then you get pretty much have to start from the beginning. Which to some people that might be super annoying, but like at least give us the choice, you know? Like in these decomps, they give us the choice if we want infinite lives or not. So why don't the... why doesn't Sonic Origins give us that choice? It doesn't. The only way to play with lives, with a live system, is through the classic mode, which is not in widescreen, it's in 4x3. So, um, to me, this is still the definitive version to play these games, at least in my humble opinion, but, I mean, yeah. And in here, you have the same options that you had in Sonic 1 Forever. Um, literally everything, yeah, so. Um, and yeah, so Sonic 1 and 2, that's how you play it, with those decoms of the Android versions. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description on how to get that through quote-unquote legal means. Um, but uh, I'm not going to sit here and stop you from downloading the APK from the internet because, I mean, come on. Especially if you already own the games on your Android device, it's just easier to do that way. But in any case, um, now for Sonic CD. Now Sonic CD is super easy, you just have to download it in Steam. I'm missing one very important one, and that's Sonic 3. Um, so let me see if I can find that. I don't even know where I put this thing. Where do I have Sonic 3? Well, let's go to the setup for that. So just type in Sonic 3 Air on your search engine, Sonic Air download, and it'll be right here. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys don't want to search for it yourself. But basically, this is the stable version. Just download this. Um, and then, uh, well, actually, let me go to that download because I just downloaded it. Um, here we go. So yeah, you're going to get this, um, make sure to extract this, and then once you guys open this .exe file, it'll ask you to locate the Sonic 3 and Knuckles ROM, okay? So the ROM, yes, does have to be Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it can't be Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles uh, on its own, so yeah, you can't do that. But wherever the ROM is located, it doesn't matter, as long as you open that .exe file, um, it'll ask you where it's located, you just find it, and then from there, you never have to do that again. You just open it up and it'll boot up the game. Now, in order to get the ROM, obviously, uh, <laughs> nowadays it's almost impossible to dump a cartridge to a computer. I don't even know how you do that. You probably have to buy some kind of converter cartridge thing so you can dump your ROM files and whatever. Um, but let's be honest, guys. By this point, everybody should <laughs> everybody should have Sonic 3 already. I mean, yeah, whether it's through the Sonic Mega Collection, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, Sonic, uh, the Sonic DS Collection, the Classic Collection on DS, I mean... Uh, I mean, the list goes on. Um, you can also buy Sonic 3 Knuckles on Steam if you want. Um, I'm not sure if that was delisted though. Uh, I, uh, thinking about it now, it might have been. Uh, if it was, then any of those other things I just mentioned, if you own any of those, then you're pretty much in the right to just find it on the internet, just download the ROM. I mean, uh, no one's going to stop you from doing that. Uh, 
But yeah, so once you get that, once you open that exe file and find where the ROM's located, you can just open the game up. I have it right here. And uh, there you go. Let's play Sonic 3 Air. Sonic 3 Air is a beautiful, beautiful port of Sonic 3. Um, it has everything you could ever want. It has widescreen, as you can see here. Um, and there's a mess of options, man. Like, so many. Uh, so this is the main menu. Let me go to the options real quick, just to show you guys some of these. Um, let me go to gameplay. Yeah. So, you can choose to have the Angel Island bombing as an actual boss. Um, like, an actual, like, threat thing, <laughs> obstacle, instead of just running forward, you know. Uh, you can choose to have the Big Arms boss fight uh, as all the characters if you want, which is awesome because in Sonic 3 Knuckles, the original version, uh, the Big Arms boss fight wasn't included. It was only in Sonic 3 alone that you could fight them. Uh, you can disable the Sandopolis ghosts if they're pretty annoying, which in my opinion they are, so you can do that too. Um, and the, uh, the max amount of ghosts for time attack mode if you want to try that, so. Um, in terms of controls, uh, Insta Shield, you can have it on or off, Tails Assist, uh, Tails Flight. Um, in this game, you can use Tails as a flight mechanic to haul you up wherever you need, which is great. Um, uh, you can turn uh, Super Cancel, this is the most important thing ever, um, that you can choose to uh, cancel out of Super Form once you go into it, which you couldn't do in the original game. Uh, Infinite Lives, same thing. Yeah, all these options are also in Sonic 1 and 2, um, the decomps that we explained earlier. So. Um, but yeah guys, uh, not even kidding, you could probably play this on any device ever, um, and I'm not even joking about that, you probably could. Um, so, yeah. This, in my opinion, this is the definitive way to play the quote-unquote Sonic Origins collection that we're about to get. Because the only thing that that collection has yeah, that's worth getting in my opinion is the, the opening and ending cutscenes, the animated cutscenes that they added, which is awesome, really cool. Um, and some of the extra bonuses that they have, like an art gallery and, you know, things like that. But... If we're being honest here, that, that this is the definitive way to play these games because of the live system alone. Like uh, to me, that it, it just baffles me that they, they they didn't at least give us an option to do that. Um, you know, at least for the hardcore fans. You know, like if I want to play these games, there's something very satisfying about beating the game with like 15 lives or 30 something lives in Sonic 3's case. You know, like it's just satisfying. But then we can't have that now because apparently we need to be held. Like, our hands need to be held throughout the whole adventure, you know? Like, it just doesn't make sense. So, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments. Uh, none of these belong to me at all. Uh, so, you know, if you want to thank anybody, just thank the people that made these. Uh, they're super awesome people. And, um, yeah, but uh, until next time, guys, we'll talk soon. See you later.